Hi there, this is Christian. Uh, welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm gonna tie, uh, tie this one. I've named it Gummy Tune in Danish, uh, which is uh, uh, was invented last weekend uh, when we were having beers with a friend called Kasper Hansen. And uh, the famous, uh, the most famous fly at the moment on the Danish coast is by far this one. Hytu, uh, invented by Troels Højstein K. or C. Trouter Hollick. A really nice fly uh, pattern. And we were looking at this pattern and wanting to add a few things. And uh, I've had success with the ESL shrimp as well in, uh, lately in, uh, in brown colors, the same colors as, uh, as the Hytu. And that ended up as uh, at, uh, combining these two. So I took the Hutu and a uh, little less dressed and added some uh, rubber legs, legs from the from the ESL shrimp and that ended up in the uh, Gummi Tune. And I actually tried this one uh, last weekend uh, for three days on Duos and it was really, really good. A lot of uh, action going on. Uh, so this is one uh, we're going for. So um, I have to have to mention as well that the, the ESL shrimp, which is a really nice pattern, I've made different versions of them in different colors. The, they are inspired inspired by a guy called uh, Kim Heinfeld. Uh, he makes some really nice ones, and I've made a lot of them as well in different colors and tried them with success. So um, it's all about combining good stuff. Uh, they all work. Uh, it's a matter of tying new stuff and a uh, matter of taste and whatever you you feel like it will work up, it'll work uh, for sure. If you if a sea trout get, gets close it's gonna eat eat these three flies. So um, this is a gummy uh, I'm gonna tie now. So let's do it. Okay, now we're ready. This is the one we are aiming for, the gummy tube. And I uh, started by adding, uh, putting the hook in my vise, the light stinger from Avix in size 6 and some right white thread. And I'll start by uh, uh, taking some semi steel dubbing, the orange one here, the UV steel bird steel. Head Torch, Jesus, great name, who comes up with these names anyway. And uh, adding that on my, my thread to create a rather big uh, portion of topping here in the back. Both to comb out and to make the eyes stand out a bit. This is a fairly fast one to tie this fly. Like that. There we go. That should be plenty. I'm secure that and I'm gonna comb it out with my brush this uh, the dubbing has some orange UV res orange uh, fluorescent action going on I guess you can use any dubbing to be honest this one is nice Form a little tail. Let's time for the East Reflex in uh, the brown. This is a favorite of mine, these ones. So really nice. These to work with and just uh, tear them off. And 
and I get rid of the this int thingy. And this is uh, very. It's this one is different from the at least one of the plot points where it's different from the from the YouTube oh, and also the ESL stream. I'm gonna place this now here. Top and uh, trying to make them actually stay on top, not to the sides. These are quite doable, these legs. Um, once that's done. Oh, I forgot to mention a shrimp needs uh, needs eyes as well, of course. Uh, and that has to be the easy shrimp legs, uh, easy shrimp eyes from uh, these ones in the size uh, extra small in black. So I'm gonna attach these eyes. On top, and they are almost uh, see if I can, aligned up here with the second set of legs, joints, or you know what we call them. Just to secure them a little bit more, I'm gonna take some UV resin. It's not like I've, uh, it's not like it, I have problems with them falling off. But yeah, might as well. Could use some zebra cap or anything. Just to get it in there to make them st stay where you want them. Go. Then I'm gonna take uh, some flash here. This is uh, this, this flash is the same color as it. It's the semi shield up I have underneath, pretty much. And I'm gonna take. Let's see. Take two. Place on top, in between the eyes. Go backwards, so I have four of these. Could just just cut some of them now. I think. I think it's a bit various links. There we go. And it's time for some uh, rubber legs. I got some. Uh, some I found in my box with some black markings on it. I thought that would look nice, so I'm gonna go with that. I think it matters much, whatever they... I'm gonna place those straight in between the eyes again. And uh, start here in the back. Let me show you. Now they where I want them in the I'm gonna go forwards slowly and I'm not gonna push too much tension put too much tension on my thread because if I do that they're gonna go like crazy. So I'm I'm gonna make sure they stay here, down here, and less tension up, up in front. Gonna tie that stuff down as well. 
Might as well. Help stable the fly. You might ask if uh wonder if this uh if this fly is gonna hook up the the tangle a lot and it, it uh, doesn't it does tangle once in a while uh, but these type of fly these types of flies will do that but uh, it's not uh, as bad as I imagined um, so and now I've taken a uh, one of these orange uh, 4B um, feathers just uh, just gonna take half of the with uh, two fingers up here. Just pull off the fibers, nice and slow. Keep them be in between my thumb and my index finger, while slowly taking off all of the fibers. All the way down. There we go. Get them together. See, like this. I'm gonna gonna position this right in between the eyes again, on top of on here, on top up here. else I'm gonna gonna just gonna secure a bit more all the good stuff I can I've got up here before I tie in my my feather look at all this moving when we will pull this through the water. There's a lot of action going on here. <laughs> there we go. And it's time for a, for another feather. I'm gonna take a, a quite long one. Like this one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the fibers off one side because I I don't want it to be too too crazy dressed. But that's up to you. You could just leave it and leave the fibers on both sides if you want to. That's uh, yeah. As I said, up to you. Then I'm gonna tie it in. Up here, make sure it stays there and go out in front. And then it's time for your your STF dubbing. This is uh, Flyco's Light 10. 10 would do as well, or it's also one that's called something about honey. Colored gold, honey gold, I don't know. There's lots of nice colors. It's just going crazy. STF dubbing is such a nice material, especially when it gets wet. In my opinion, it gets uh, really transparent and, uh, and nice looking. So it gives the fly a good uh, transparency or translucent or whatever it's called. There we go. Now it's all about building up the, 
Probably if there's stuff I already tied on, it's gonna help me get the cone, cone shape I want. And I figured out, found out that you need quite a lot of the, of the dubbing. I'm gonna brush it out in a sec. Make a big fat bulky body up here. A nice cone shape going on here. Now here in the front, I'm just gonna just gonna end it. Before doing anything else, I'm just gonna use my with my brush to give it a good rub. Just go crazy here. This is what makes the fly be transparent in the water. I tend to forget the, the tend to forget the side that's pointing away from me always. So, just give that a beating as well. Something like that. It's time for the... For the feather, here you go. Next, I'm gonna take one rep here in the beginning. I'm gonna try to pull a bit, and uh, then slowly work my way down the the fly with my the almost palm palmer hackle like uh, feathers. They are really long, and they. But that will make them pulsate in the water and it gets just wet, I guess. Looks like a freaking mess now, I know. But we will uh, try to sort it in a second. We'll try to, to tie in the the stem of this, uh, this feather because it's gonna get a beating in a, in a second with my brush. And it's almost done. Now it's all about uh, combing backwards. Don't be shy to give it a give you some some love. See. And when you're satisfied, satisfied with, uh, with this, well, that one won't come up. Wait, there you go. I'm just just gonna take some uh, orange thread, at the very end, out here, to form a little orange. Uh,
and some varnish. And there you have the the Komi two. Yeah, a mix between the Hutu and the ESL shrimp. Very easy to tie and fast and proven its efficiency already. How good it is. Uh, and I like that the materials aren't too expensive either. You don't have to use the expensive spray feathers for this one. These feathers are quite cheap. So, I will hope to see you next time and please leave a like and even a subscribe for more content in the near future. Until next time, bye bye.